In this video, we're going to be given some information about a triangle, and we're going to be asked to find the angles of the triangle. The little piece of information you need to know as you solve these triangle problems is that the angles of a triangle, regardless of its size, will always add up to 180 degrees. So if we're told in example 1 that two angles of a triangle are the same measure, the third is 30 less than the first, and asked to find the two angles, we'll organize what we know about the first, second, and third angles of the triangle. We're told the first two angles of the triangle are the same measure. Well, we don't know what they are, so let's just call them both x. They're both the same, so we must use the same variable for both. Then we're told that the third angle is 30 degrees less than the first. 30 degrees less, recall that subtraction is built backwards, than the first angle, which we labeled as just x. We're now algebraically representing each of the angles of the triangle, and we know that they will add to 180 degrees. So if I add them, the total will always be 180, regardless of the triangle. So adding x plus x plus x gives us 3x, and we've got a minus 30. And now there's a simple two-step equation we can solve to find the angles of the triangle. Adding 30 to both sides gives us 3x equals 210. And finally, dividing both sides by 3 will give us x equals 70. But again, that's not the final answer. The question's asking for to find the three angles. So the first angle is x. The first angle is just 70. The second angle is just x. The second angle is just 70. The third angle is x minus 30, or 70 minus 30, which becomes 40. So the three angles are 70 degrees, 70 degrees, and 40 degrees. Knowing they all add up to 180, and representing each angle algebraically, we're able to quickly find the angles of the triangle. Let's try one more example. See if we can do the same thing. The second angle of a triangle is twice the first, the third is 30 more than the second. So we're going to see what we know about the first, the second, and the third angles. We're told that the second angle is twice the first. Well, what's the first? We don't know. So we'll call the first our variable, x. The second angle is twice that. To double something, we multiply it by 2, 2x. Two then we're told that the third angle is 30 degrees more than the second angle. So the third angle is 30 degrees more. It's built backwards, so we're adding 30 to something. We're adding 30 to the second angle. The second angle was just 2x. Now that we've represented each, we know that the angles will add to equal 180. So x plus 2x plus 2x is 5x, plus the 30 equals 180. And now we can start solving. Subtract 30 from both sides. Gives us 5x equals 150. And then divide both sides by 5 to find out x is equal to 30. So the first angle is just x, just 30. The second angle is 2x, 2 times 30, which is 60. The third angle is 2 times x, plus 30 more. Well, 2 times 30 is 60, plus 30 more is 90. Our angles are 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. The angles of a triangle add up to 180, so if we can represent each algebraically, we can quickly find the missing angles.